you've clicked on this video, you probably either have ClassPass or know what ClassPass is. But just in case, let's make sure we're all on the same page. ClassPass is a monthly fitness membership that provides you with access to thousands of different studios. Each month, you are granted a certain number of credits based off of the plan you choose, and those credits can be used to take classes at up to 70% off the drop-in rate. And now we're all caught up. According to ClassPass, the average class in New York City is nine credits, but I've seen classes run as high as 22 credits. I'm on the lowest plan and I'm trying to figure out how to make it last the longest. So today I've got five tips to help you do the same. Tip number one, off peak points. If you work a non-traditional schedule, this is a great option for you because many studios will offer lower credit classes during off hours. A lot of times this is midday, like late morning or early afternoon. If you have a lunch break where you don't mind getting a little bit sweaty too, this is also a great option. When I say low credit, I mean six credits or under. My favorite studio in New York that offers this is Fit House. Fit House has two different locations. They're located in Tribeca, also in Union Square, and they have dozens of different classes throughout the day, ranging from bounce to hit, um, sculpt, you've got bar, kettlebell, literally everything and anything. And during those off hours, you can typically find classes around six credits. Again, this is just one example, but there are plenty of other studios all throughout the city that take advantage of this offer. Tip number two, find a low credit studio that you love. There are actually a ton of underrated studios throughout the city that have a very low baseline for how many credits their classes cost. There are also some janky ass studios that I will not be recommending on here. My favorite studio in this category in the city is Laughing Lotus Yoga. Most of their classes range between three to five credits and they have plenty of different times, levels, and styles all throughout their schedule all throughout the week. Now, fair warning, most of these lower credit classes are not going to be at the bougiest of studios where they've got like the lemon water right up front for you to drink. I want you to have an open mind though. As you're going in, try to think about focusing on the workout instead of the overall studio experience. Now, that being said, if you walk in, there's bugs running across your feet and the ceiling looks like it's gonna cave in, I would probably leave and call ClassPass and ask for your credits back. Tip number three, go to the gym. There are actually hundreds of gyms listed on ClassPass now, just with open gym time. I've seen this gym time listed as low as two credits. This is a great option for people who like going to the gym, not me. If you've run out of credits toward the end of the month and are trying to use those last few left, or if you have a time slot that you can't find a class you like, you can head to the gym instead. Now, here's the real tip. A lot of these gyms actually do offer classes now. A lot of them are really great quality too, and a lot of them will be offered on ClassPass. But those classes are gonna be a higher credit than just the open gym time. I would actually figure out when the classes that I wanna take at the gym, buy the open gym time, and then just kinda hop into the class once I'm there. Now obviously, don't be a jerk and do this during peak hours, but if it's like a two o'clock class in the middle of a weekday, no one's really gonna be there. So again, as long as you're not being an asshole, I don't see any issue with it. Tip number four, don't be afraid of the outer boroughs. A lot of my friends live near me in Queens, but they go to Manhattan to work out when we have plenty of options right near us. Because these studios are in the outer boroughs, a lot of times their classes are at a much lower credit level. Specifically, right around the corner from me, there is a place called Simply Fit Astoria. They offer dozens of different classes all throughout the week. Class offerings include TRX, they've got boot camp, bar, dance cardio, literally everything and anything. So I encourage you to turn on that location marker on your app and see what's around you in your neighborhood. Tip number five, additional credits. So here's the deal. I know how tempting it is to use your credits at a really bougie studio to feel like you're super wealthy, but those classes are gonna cost you a lot. So if you splurge one month and use all of your credits at Barry's and you need to still work out, I've got a little tip for you. Instead of paying at different studios their regular drop-in fee, I would just buy credits on ClassPass instead. So hear me out. Every additional credit on ClassPass is $2.50. So this can add up really quickly, but if you do a lot of digging and find those high quality classes at the lower credit cost, you can save a lot of money instead of paying for the drop-in rate. 
So let's do an example. What's my example? Let's say that you find a five credit class at Pure Bar. That class normally is going to cost $36 to drop into. But if you just buy the five credits on your ClassPass app, that will cost you $12.50. That is a huge savings. Now, if you find yourself resorting to this every single month, I would actually just recommend upping your ClassPass plan. If you're using this too frequently, this is just going to cost you more money than if you splurged for the higher plan. But this is a great option for those months where you've accidentally used all of your credits very, very quickly. Those are my five tips and that's all I've got for you today. If you have not tried ClassPass yet, I'll leave my referral link down below and you can actually get $40 off your first month. Enjoy!